RRR is an action-adventure drama film that was released on Netflix back in 2022. Many people reviewed this film last year and said it was an absolutely amazing film. Do I really agree with those opinions? Well, stick around and let's talk about it. RRR, or Rise, Roar, Revolt, is about a fictitious story about two legendary revolutionaries and their journey away from home before they started fighting for their country in the 1920s. The film stars N.T. Rama Rayo Jr., Ram Sharan Teja, AJ Devjing, Ali Bhatt, Olivia Morris, Sharia Saran, Ray Stevenson, and Alison Duty, and was directed by SS Raja Muli. So last year I heard a lot about RRR and a lot of people are really raving about this film and I'm really reluctant to watch Netflix films a lot of times mainly because a lot of times I just feel like a lot of their content is below average or mediocre and usually not worth my time. But after watching this film, this film was actually really excellent. It really feels like it should have been in an IMAX setting and I'm sure that a lot of times that this probably was in some IMAX theaters maybe across the country but i would have loved to watch this in an imax setting mainly because it really feels like a really epic action drama film that plays out i really love that they have the film starting off with this girl getting kidnapped and i love that we're out in the jungle and it really shows that it has this big dramatic presence that it wants to really deliver and it really does deliver a lot of cool action scenes a lot of the action scenes they're really over the top but they're done really well and each action scene you really feel like they try to outdo each other and you see one action scene then you see another action scene you're like wow they outdid the last Scene. and it really has some high stakes and you really care about the characters and that's what I really enjoyed about this film even though it's a three-hour movie I found that it was paced really well and I found that I was really interested and generally interested in what was going to happen to the characters and what was going to happen next in the story it's a film that I didn't really understand every little culture reference or everything that was really necessarily going on at every given point but does a really good job of really hooking the audience in and it does a really good job job of balancing out the dramatic points with also the action points and it really does a really good job with the soundtrack i found that the music was really powerful it was very dramatic it also really reflected of what was going on there is one scene where a guy is getting whipped and he's all bloodied and battered and that was a really powerful scene and the music that they use during that particular scene it really elevated that particular scene and it really made it to be an emotional experience one of my favorite scenes in this film is when we get to meet Bahim and Raju and when they save this little boy from a train wreck. I thought that that was a really powerful scene and it really sparked this friendship between the two. I also like when they have some different action scenes that involve animals. Those were really epic scenes, and I think this film, it really delivers on those scenes. Obviously, you know that those are CGI animals, but I thought they did a really good job of using those scenes. And they do a really good job of having blood and gore in here and really making it a really epic tale. It has a really good message, more so of actually improving yourself and you know, just really thinking of your country and really thinking of your community. Cinematography and the principal photography is really good in this film. The film was shot in the Araku Valley, which is a lot of the portion of the beginning of the film. And it was also shot in the Marinsky Palace at the capital in Ukraine. The themes and influences that this director actually derivated this film from was really having a creative friendship that is imaginary between two different friends. And they are basically superheroes. And the message is trying to say that we are not separate we are one and trying to create this community of love and passion and friendship and I really like that message that he tries to portray in this film because I really did feel the powerful message throughout this film so I really think that he got that message across in this film. As far as negatives for this film the only negatives that I can really speak on in this film is the CGI. There are parts where the CGI isn't really that good but honestly it doesn't really downgrade the film for me or really take me out of the film there's also some over-the-top moments and some movie magic going on but honestly it never really took me out of the film that much it was always really entertaining and I think the film was trying to go for that over-the-top 
portion of the film for majority of the film which was okay and it really made it for a more enjoyable experience as far as a score for this film i would give a score of this film a four out of five i really did enjoy this film if you have not watched this film yet i really highly recommend putting this on the top of your netflix list as it's a really good film it is three hours so allow yourself a little bit of time to watch this film but it's a really epic film and if you love over the top action and some really good friendship kind of scenes some really powerful scenes, some blood and gore, and some really good action, and also some action involving animals as well. I think that you would really enjoy this film. Let me down in the comments. Did you like this film? Did you hate it? Was it kind of meh? Thank you guys for watching as always, and I will see you guys on my next review.